वेलकम बैक टू माई इंग्लिश लर्निंग यूट्यूब चैनल माई डियर सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड व्यूअर्स आई एम डिस्कसिंग वॉइस सेंस इन माई वीडियो सो टूडे आई ऑल्सो टूडे ऑल्सो आई विल डिस्कस वॉइस एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द वॉइस सेंस ऑफ फोर टेंसेस प्रेजेंट इंडिफिनिट प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट एंड प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस सो टूडे डिस्कशन विल बी ऑफ पास्ट इंडिफिनिट टेंस ओके यार आई एम राइटिंग वॉइस सेंस ऑफ पास्ट इंडिफिनिट टेंस सो फॉर टू नो द पेसिव वॉइस ऑफ पास्ट इंडिफिनिट टेंस वी हैव टू नो द एक्टिव वॉइस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ पास्ट इंडिफिनिट टेंस एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न द टेंसेस विथ द स्ट्रक्चर्स ओके ऑल द स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ द टेंसेस वेर रिटेन इन एक्टिव वॉइस when we learnt about tenses so i am writing the active voice of past indefinite tense we have to write subject then main verb in past tense okay main verb past tense then there must be an object for changing voice okay we all of us know that object must come to the place of subject that is why an object is very essential or an object is a must in a sentence for changing voice okay now extension so this subject will be number 1 and this object will be number 2 we have been discussing in this process all of you already know it okay now i am writing a sentence i wrote a letter wrote a letter yesterday okay so this is a sentence of this active voice i wrote a letter yesterday so i is the subject wrote is the main verb in past tense a letter is the object here and yesterday is an extension okay now if we want to change this sentence into passive one then we must know this structure we have to write the subject but this subject will be that object will come here to become a subject okay and as it is that as the verb is in past tense so here what was and when the two be verbs will come past tense be verbs was and when okay then pp i am writing here pp we have already known that pp means past participle form of the main verb okay so try to remember it pp means past participle form of the main verb then we have to write by an object this, this object means this subject will come here to become an object so it will be number 1 again extension so here you can see that i wrote a letter yesterday if we change this sentence into passive one what will happen a letter is the object here so it will come at the very beginning of the sentence and the verb is wrote it is in the past tense so a letter was was will come a letter was again the past participle form of the main verb it is written right wrote written a letter was written by me by me yes sir okay so i hope you have already got the point again i will write here a sentence of passive voice that means of this structure and i will try to change into active that means to this structure change into this structure of past indefinite tense okay now i am writing the student the student was punished by the teacher by the teacher so you can see here this is a sentence of passive voice of past indefinite tense because this resembles this structure here the student is the subject again was is the be verb and punished is the past participle form of the verb and we have written by also here and at the end we have written the object that means which was the subject of the active voice 
So to turn it into a thing, we have to drop by a thrust and then was. Why? Because we know that this is a sentence of present indefinite, past indefinite tense. And in past indefinite tense, we never use be verb was with in active voice. Okay. In passive voice, we use, but we never use this was or where in active voice of past indefinite tense as an auxiliary verb. Okay. So the teacher will come at the very beginning. The teacher. Then as there is was, that means the verb is in its past tense. The verb is in past tense. That is why we will write the teacher punished. Okay. Past tense form of punish is punished. The teacher punished the student. This subject will come here to become an object. The teacher punished the student. So, you have already understood, but I have told you that we may change an active voice sentence into passive one and also passive voice sentence into active one. And how the changes take place, I have already explained here by writing on the board and you can observe and see. Again, you can observe the sentences and the pattern or the structure of the sentences that in active voice, we write subject, main verb in past tense, object extension here is an example i wrote a letter yesterday then in passive voice the object becomes a subject and we use was or will okay and then the past participle past participle form of the main verb then by comes because of passive voice and we write this subject as an object in this way this sentence has been turned into passive one like a letter was written by me as third. Again here I have written a sentence of passive voice where I have written the student was punished by the teacher. So this is a sentence of passive voice. Here we have omitted by and was. Then after by the subject is always written as an object that is why it will come at the very beginning of the sentence that is why we have written the teacher and as it is in past indefinite tense, so was or where will not be needed. So we have written the teacher punished and the subject here becomes the object. The teacher punished the student. So I have already written the sentences and explained you, explained to you very simply, okay, very simply and sincerely. I hope you have already got the point. Now we will write some more sentences for our practice of this past indefinite tense where we will change from active to passive and from passive to active. Okay. They finish the arrangement for the they finished this is a sentence here they finished the arrangements The arrangements for the fair. For the fair. Okay. Then I am writing another sentence. We have we selected we selected him our captain. We selected him our captain. Again, I am writing. The boy was, the boy was asked to enter the classroom by the teacher. Classroom by the teacher. Okay. Then you were you were taught English English by her. So here I have written four sentences and all the sentences are of past tense, past indefinite tense. But number one and two have been written in active voice 
and number three and four have been written in passive voice. So, number one, they finish the arrangements for the pair. What they finish the arrangements for the pair? The whole part is the object here. That is why this complete part will become that a subject. Now it will be the arrangements. The arrangements. The arrangements here is in plural form. The arrangements for the pair. For the pair. As it is in plural, the subject is in plural. That is why where will come. Okay. The arrangements for the pair were finished. Were finished by them. Okay. This has become a sentence of passive voice while it was an active voice. Okay. Now we selected him our captain. So whom did we select captain? Him. So him is the, is the object here and it will be he. And as he is the third person singular number, it will take was. He was selected our captain. Okay. He was selected our captain by us. We may write it or may not write it. We may drop by us also, but it will be correct. Though we drop by us, it will be correct. But we have written here, he was selected our captain by us. So this one is active, this one is passive. Again, the boy was asked to enter the classroom by the teacher. So definitely it is in the passive form. And here, by is present, was is present. That is why we have to change it into active. And after the by, this teacher, the teacher will be the subject here. Okay. So the teacher asked, was will be removed because in past indefinite tense, was will not come. The teacher asks the boy, the teacher asks the boy to enter the classroom. To enter the classroom. Okay. So this is a sentence of active voice. Whether it was a sentence of passive voice. Okay. The last one, you were taught English by her. So here also, by should be dropped and will should be dropped. Her will become the subject, it will be she. And subject, her in the past tense, she taught you. She taught you English. Okay. So in this way, this one is of passive voice, this one is of active voice. So in this way, we can learn active and passive step by step of all tenses one by one. So I hope you are, you are getting a concrete idea or a very sincere idea regarding our conception, regarding the change of voice from these videos. So I want to stop here today. Thank you for watching my videos.